Me. Uh, excuse me? Not you, the bee. Just calm down. There are a lot of them. But I am the How dare they close the passage to the center? We are free people. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. But you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. So that's the pilgrim. Don't look like much of a sinner. I didn't like the door so far.
in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
Code. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Ugh. Oh shit! Platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Where did he come from? 
He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And there are that many fewer survivors, and that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for ten years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. 
But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around, ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. bottle in a basement while on patrol. Hey, so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's gotta do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you wanna join us? What I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? Hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Yesterday I had a good day. I was the war. Killed five, which I should have done this Nice. Hey, man. Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital at our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim. You got it. It takes balls to wander off road like that. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Let me tell you one thing. If Vader doesn't find Lucas's murderer, 
Jack Matt will personally hang him by his balls on a branch. Well, they just sure gained a lot from the commander's death. What are you trying to say? <sighs> nah, nothing. Only that it was because of Lucas's death that Ada was promoted to commander. But you suspect Ada is involved in Lucas's murder? I suspect that if you eavesdrop, you'll get yourself hurt. Or worse. I don't believe the commander was killed by anyone from the side. Who else would want him dead? Fuck no. Lucas was a real hard ass. Didn't take shit. be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us go to home, huh? Everyone's so innocent. Nothing to hide. Keep your fruits away from our places. Welcome to so your hiding. PK Command Center. Time is running out, Carl. You don't hand over the killer. We had this dream last night. Bazaar, the, the missy was sinking. So Spinning your wheels and talk to me. So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? 
What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. You got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors too. The horn, I mean. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person, I took a nap and then boom! I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food. But it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay. Maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one has shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle will just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them.
anyone? You are awesome. I know you made it in time, too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich, and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got some spare time? Because if you do... Because I got another sausage run to prevent the runs. And you, you already know where to go. This isn't an urgent race like the last one. But in this weather, you have to be careful with food. The faster it lands in someone's stomach, the better for everyone. Seven steps straight ahead, then 16 more steps. Turn left, dodge the three infected there. 26 plus 82, 31, 12, 72. Beekeeper or a brewer? I'm both. That's the secret of my double bark. You must have noticed most beer in this town tastes like piss. Well, you're not wrong. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody cares about taste anymore. Does well, that surprise you? The truth is, so-called brewers nowadays are damn amateurs. <laughs> and you're a pro, I gather. You bet. And it's an excellent time for my trade. Demand for beer is higher than ever. Brewers are in the top ten most stable jobs in this city. Right after the Undertakers? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice one. As for me, I'm dedicated to nurturing my yeast and my bees. Your bees? Yup. You know what the secret ingredient is to brewing the best beer in town? Besides love, of course. I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Honey. And to harvest the best kind of honey, you need the best fed bees. Speaking of which, maybe you could help me with my bees. Feed them some sugar? I have my own special beehives in the area. Put them up high to keep them out of reach of those who steal my honey. I can try. Where exactly are these beehives? First, you need to find the bags of sugar I've left nearby to feed them. If you find the bags, you'll find the beehives. There are three of them all close to each other. The first one is on a rooftop just nearby. If you look towards the main terminal, you can see it from here. The second is on the rooftop of the main terminal building, below this big tower covered with a peacekeeper's banner. And the third one is on the top of the main terminal station, just beside one of the statues. Please do it quickly. Business is so brisk I've neglected them lately. Oh, they're probably starving. I guess I'm more of a brewer than a beekeeper after all. A oh, bag of sugar. I can save Barak's bees from starvation.
Another bag of sugar for Barak's hungry critters. Third bag of sugar. That should take the sting out. <laughs> yeah. Mission almost complete. Come <laughs> on. 
wish bizarre folks would talk to you. Done. Your bees are gonna live. Fantastic news! Thank you. Here's a souvenir for your effort. And if you're ever in the neighborhood again, you could still help me. My bees have voracious appetites. I'll take you back to Water Tower. <laughs> 